Hello everyone, this is Kurt, and you are watching Kurt Me PH. For today's video, I will be discussing the different types of boiler, and their basic construction. The marine steam boiler has two different types of construction. The fire tube boilers are the most common type of boiler used on board ships, and the second type is the water tube boilers which mostly used for a higher steam production. Although they made for the same purpose which is to produce steam, they are design depends on the steam demands, and quality needed to supply a steam distribution system. The fire tube boiler is a type of steam boiler, where the smoke from the burner combustion is passing through the flue tube pipes. These pipes are surrounded by the boiler water, and it is where most of the heat transfer is happening to increase the boiler water temperature to boiling point. The heat of the smoke in the tubes is transferred to the boiler water that surrounds the flue tubes, and generates steam. The smoke tube or fire tube boiler are used in the system with less steam quantity and quality. There are two types of fire tube boiler on board ships. Horizontal fire tube or scotch boiler and vertical fire tube boiler. The horizontal fire tube or scotch boiler is an old type of boiler with cylindrical furnace surrounded by water inside the shell. The furnace in this type of boiler is water cooled, has a large diameter, and is thicker. This leads to thermal stresses if the boiler is not operated correctly. The horizontal fire tube boiler comprises of end plates, which are opposite to the burner assembly. These flat end plates are supported by large steam space stay in the upper portion of the boiler. The combustion chamber is supported by the girder stay at the top side, and by the combustion chamber stays. The midsection back plates, and tube plates are also supported by the combustion chamber stays. The vertical smoke tube boiler is more popular, and commonly found on board ships. In this boiler arrangement, the furnace is in the bottom part of the boiler, and it is attached to the shell by means of the AG ring at the bottom. The furnace of the vertical fire tube boiler is fitted with refractory, which contains the produced heat inside the furnace, and also protects the AG ring from overheating. The combustion chamber with tube stacks is located above the furnace, where the hot smoke is passed for heating the water drum. The top of the combustion chamber is supported by gusset plate, that transfers the stresses to the boiler shell. The fire tube boilers are competitive for steam rates up to 12,000 kg per hour, and pressures up to 18 kg cm2. Fire tube boilers available for operation with oil and gas fuels. Water tube boiler A water tube boiler are second generation boilers with modification in the construction and working principle of the smoke tube boiler. The tubes inside the boiler are filled with water instead of smoke, and hence the thermal stresses are less as compared to those produced by the smoke tube boiler. Most of the water tube boilers are comprises with three main section, the water drum, steam drum, and the tubes. The water drum, is located at the bottom of the boiler, and carries the hot water which supplies the same water to the steam drum where the steam is generated. The steam drum is located at the top part of the boiler, and is fitted with external, and internal mountings, which include safety valves and steam stop valve to supply steam to the ship's systems. The tubes are comprises with different pipes, the screen tubes, superheater tubes, generating tubes, and downcomers. The screen tubes are placed before the superheater, these tubes are adjacent to the furnace, and absorb the flame as well as the generated hot gas heat. Since these tubes are directly exposed to the furnace heat, they are of large diameter to prevent overheating. Superheater tubes are placed behind the screen tubes to carry the superheated steam from the boiler. The generating tubes connects the water drum, and steam drum. As the name suggests, hot water is carried upward from where the steam is produced. The downcomer tubes transfer the not so hot water to the water drum, where the water is heated up in the generating tube before going back to the steam drum. 
The water tube boilers are working on the principle of convection and radiation heat transfer. Most modern water tube boiler design is within the capacity range of 4,500 to 120,000 kilograms per hour of steam at a very high pressure. Here's a quick comparison between fire tube and water tube boiler in terms of construction and purpose. The fire tube boiler's construction is the first type of the steam boilers, and the water tube boiler's construction design is based from the fire tube boiler. The fire tube boilers are commonly used on board ships where the steam production needed in the steam distribution system is low with the steam rates up to 12,000 kg per hour and pressures up to 18 kg cm2, while the water tube boilers are designed to supply a higher demand of steam production rates up to 4,500 to 120,000 kg per hour at a very high pressure. The fire tube boilers are mostly used on board ships in steam heating systems, and water tube boilers are mostly used in steam turbine operation. And that's all for marine steam boiler types and construction. On the next video, I will be discussing marine steam boiler basic distribution system. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.